Hello everyone, on the last video we ran out of time and I don't want to make longer videos, so bear with me on this one. And we left at the run expression, on the basic run expression. If you already know a bit about expressions, then you can jump a little bit, but just try to see fairly with what's the theme of each video if you want. Now, we had a run expression, but it's a slightly complex to move on and off accordingly on the numbers. So we want to have an slider. How to create an slider on Maya? Okay, first, you need to put the name on the actual uh, number. So you need to name it. That's how you declare a variable. It's actually just putting a name to a number or to a line of code. In this moment, we are going to name as the easiest thing ever. We're going to name a, so for that is dollar sign A. Don't listen to the actual text that is giving us here. You hit a space and add an equal sign. Sorry for that, it's in Spanish. It shouldn't be in Spanish. And an equal sign. So what we told him here is that we are going to make something that is naming name it A. Now, what's what we're going to add as a name A? I want to add the number one. And that's it. What I want to tell him is this is the final line of the code. When I do this, what I'm doing is declaring that the A slider or the person A or the number A, it's a variable with the number one and you final with a semicolon. So you finish with a semicolon and you declare that. Now, if you want to declare the values of that slider as min and max, you need to make it slightly different. You need to add a hashtag and then you add the min value, zero, and the max value, then. So you can see here how now it changes the value as the min value is one and the max value is zero and it's going on uh, full numbers. Why? Because I put full numbers here. If I go here and put decimal numbers, you can see how now it's moving with decimal numbers. So you can control that, how you declare the amount of numbers that you have here. So again, let's recapitulate. You need to put a name, right? So this line is going to be name A and it's equal to a number. In this case, I put number one. Doesn't matter. It's just the number that you put and a semicolon. With that, you have the line. After that, we need to add a hashtag, like social media hashtag, and put the mean value that we want for the slider and the max value that we want for the slider. If we want full numbers, we don't need to put decimals. If we want decimals, then just add them here. So that's A. Now let's add B. It's extremely easy. You just need to copy, copy and add here B. So now we have A and B. We have two now. What we need to do is to use these two sliders to declare random values. And remember that we want, when we had the rand here, what we had is a random value right, the rand, we open and we need to put one number and the second number, min here and max here, right? We can put numbers, but we already had names. So this is like shares and we want to sit here the share with the number, the minimum number, and we want to sit here the share with the maximum number. So we just need to use A here and B here. And with that, this expression is going to use the values that we use for A because it's equal to A and the values that we use for B. So if I change this part to dollar A, remember that the name is the dollar, comma, dollar B, remember that the full name, it's dollar B, it's always dollar, then we have the expression. 
and you don't need to put anything else here because this is the last expression, the last line of code. So we don't need to put a declaration for the name of this, nor a semicolon here. Why? Because this is the last line and it's an actual operation. So we are doing this operation and we are not using this data for anything else. So we are going to leave it like that. We have a min value and we have a max value. Now we have a rand that the rand, what it's doing, it's the same that we had before, but now it's using the values that we put here and we hit apply. And when we hit apply, you can see that the values are actually working. And we have the sliders here. We have the sliders there and the sliders here. This was the length. If we put just a number one and hit apply, you can see how this is going to change, right? Length of one, but we have expression. So apply and we have the expression here. And what we can do now is to use the sliders to actually control how do we want the hair to be uh, the length of the actual hair. So this is a basic operation where we declare the actual randomness of the values that we are using here. I hope you like this tutorial and see you in the next one.